Okay, how to prepare your own coal for your Gauch G locomotive. In this case, the locomotive of made by uh, Walter Kolb in Germany. And uh, the general size of these coal pieces which you need to feed these uh, the locomotive, they have a size in the range of a few millimeter up to 11 or 12 millimeter to fit into the fire room and and to generate a good fi fire on the grid internal grid of the um, engine and uh, for this purpose i use two coal types of coal which i also use for my big uh, amphora steamboat uh, the six meter long steamboat and one one is these coal which is also contains gas it's called welsh coal or i use polish coal the quality is really good it, it's uh, coal which has also a certain percentage of gas and initiates a fire quite easily the other coal is so called anthracite coal this is in principle 100 percent carbon and uh, it is free of gas and, uh, and it is very hard and uh, the percentage I use for firing is two thirds of this type of coal and one third of this. And later, even if the fire is established, I use half of half. But the point is that if you buy coal, they are pretty big, the pieces. And these are all the, the smallest one you can get uh, here in Switzerland in huge bags. And uh, I, but I, I'm not willing to pay uh, uh 30 euro for a kilo of locomotive coal is ridiculous and what i do is i um, thought about a machine or, uh, as usual I, this is one thing i found in the internet in china this is a nutcracker and you can uh, uh yeah the uh, fix the size here and i fix it to one uh, to 10 millimeter about 10 millimeter 12 millimeter and then i put these in between and then i crack these to smaller pieces and these smaller pieces uh, with a shovel i bring them here to this type which i thought is could be very useful it's a grid it's a 12 millimeter grid with uh, a collecting uh pan underneath and uh, I, I uh, separate the bigger parts from the parts which are smaller than 12 millimeter. They are then inside here in this uh, pan and then I add it in a second on a second grid which is has I think it is uh, four millimeter and then I fill it here you will I show it later and then I will separate the smaller parts even from this. And this, the parts which are left over here on the upper part, they are between 4 to 12 millimeter. And this is then used to fire the locomotive. So now I start to crack some pieces to show how it works. So you see an example how I crack them. I always made smaller pieces of the anthracite coal. And now I use a very strong, uh, the bigger parts of the, these coal. You can uh, just show it one time how it cracks, but you can imagine how it will be done with all of these pieces. So it works really nice and I make now more pieces and uh, show you then I will separate them in these on these two grids. So I cracked them uh, a few bigger ones and put them already on the bigger grid. So I move it. They are already all smaller than this grid beside one piece which is left here, it's too big, you see, but the rest is went through the first grid. And now we go to a second, to the second one, the smaller grid, to separate the dust from them. And I 
and shake it again. So this is a leftover, which has the right size. And now if you go on with this procedure, you finally, but these pieces, they have the perfect size uh, for the locomotive, a size between four to 12 millimeter, a mixture of Welch or Polish coal and pure anthracite coal, which you can see also in the color. So it is done. The hammer is used to smash really big pieces in a towel. You wrap them in a cotton towel and you smash them to get them here between these two metal sheets here to crack them. Uh, but in my collection, they're the size of the pieces are already perfect and 95% to fit in between these uh, bars here to be cracked. So a nutcracker used for preparation um, of your own coal. So I smashed the rest of the coal. This is the smallest, the smallest parts. They are, uh, this is a debris which went through all these uh, grids. Less than three millimeter, they uh, they will be fired in a in my chimney in the house, and uh, this is the product I made. And perfect size now you can see uh, between uh, four to twelve millimeter, ready for firing the. Walter Kolb Locomotive. Thank you for your attention.